Florida State is back. No, not back like that. But they are back in the AP poll this week. Are they possibly underrated right now with their current ranking? We'll discuss that more next. Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Do me a quick favor, hit the thumbs up. The like helps tremendously. Make sure you comment your thoughts below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Had a lot of positive momentum there with subscriptions. Um, I think in June or July, we, we had about 500 people subscribed and we're up close to 2,500 now. So thanks to each and every one of you that have subscribed. Florida State was last ranked after beating the crap out of a bad team. The Knolls put up 44 points on Boston College and found themselves ranked in the AP poll the next day. Well, last night, Florida State put up 45 points on another bad team to move their record up to 6-3. and three. By beating the Hurricanes as soundly and as in as dominating a fashion as they did, Florida State finds themselves once again ranked in the AP poll. This is the second time this season that the Knolls are ranked there. FSU fans are happy to be back inside the top 25 and be ranked again, but are the Knolls underrated at 25th? I think there's a little bit of an argument that they are. I understand, before we go super deep into this, that there is a resume aspect that goes into rankings. But if Florida State was to take on the teams ranked just ahead of them, how many would Florida State be a favorite over? I'll throw a graphic up on the screen, but if we look at these right now, I think the Florida State would, on a neutral site, be favored against number 24, Washington. I'm almost positive that they'd be favored over number 23, Kansas State. I certainly think that number 22, UCF, and number 21, Illinois, would be underdogs to Florida State right now on a neutral field. Notre Dame's probably a toss-up. I don't think that line would be plus or minus three points either way. I think if that game happens in Tallahassee, the Knolls are probably a three-point favorite, and that game happens in Notre Dame. I think that, that the Irish are probably a two- to three- to four-point favorite. So I think that one might be a toss-up. But then you go up a little bit further, I think Florida State's favored over both Liberty and Texas right now on a neutral field. Texas might be a little bit closer. Maybe that would be within three points. But I think the Knolls would be favored in that one. So when you look at the teams there, Again, I understand the resume aspect and, and the voters probably are mixing a little bit of a um, what have you done versus how good are you truly. And I'm not saying that Florida State should be number 18 right now in the rankings, right? Jump all those teams that I just listed. But I think they were probably dropped a little bit too far after their three pretty good quality losses back in October. Uh, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that Florida State is one of the best 20 teams in the country. I get it. Some teams ahead of FSU have less losses, and so we rank them ahead, which is fine. But Florida State's better than that, and I don't care what the records are. Another big feather in Florida State's cap is the fact that they have a very, very, very quality win over an LSU team that is spectacular. And not only... Did the Knolls win that game? They dominated that game. They're a fumble or a drop away from beating LSU by 21 points. Um, they crushed LSU until really about the final five minutes of that game. And it's really unfortunate that they were able to let LSU creep back in because I think that'd be an even bigger win now. They had to rank Florida State this week to justify the fact that they keep moving LSU up and up and up and up. But it is pretty interesting to see how it's all shaking out now when you see LSU continue to win. The Knolls go on the road this weekend, and they can get into that top 20 of the AP poll then. Syracuse is a team that had a really nice ranking and has dropped three games in a row to Clemson, then to Notre Dame, and yesterday to Pitt with their quarterback having not played in the last couple they take on the Orange this weekend and have a chance to get another quality win. And Florida State's a favorite heading on the road to New York. And if they can get a win, they should bump themselves up in the rankings just a bit. Win again against Louisiana. You might be flirting with that 18-ish range. And then beat Florida to finish the season. Do it in convincing fashion like you did against Miami. And I think you're probably bumping yourself up into that 12 to 15 range uh, to finish the regular season. You do that, maybe there's an outside chance of an at-large bid for a New Year's Six Bowl. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. 
Things need to go right for the Knowles to have that happen. Probably need some teams ahead of you to drop. But stranger things have happened. I don't know where the college football playoff committee will rank the Knowles. Traditionally and historically, the college football playoff committee has liked Power 5 teams more than they've liked group of five teams. So could the Knowles, with their brand, with being a, a national power, could they jump some of these teams that we've mentioned here in the AP Top 25? I think it's possible. I don't think that the playoff committee will rank the Knowles all the way up to 20th, but I do think it's possible that they're better than 25th. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Where do you think Florida State should be ranked? Is 25th an appropriate ranking for them? Should they be slightly higher or lower? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Appreciate again you guys coming to the channel. Appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Go Knowles.